Well, good morning, guys. YouTube, everywhere, people. Anyway, uh, yeah, today is Friday, Friday the 26th. Anyway, uh, yeah, I got home a couple days ago, kind of wore out, kind of beat. I think I had some allergic reaction to something, I don't know. Um, uh, yeah, the only thing I know is when I left, um, uh, Delta, Colorado. I stopped at the gym uh, to take a shower because we worked all day. We worked till like I don't know, four or something, five o'clock. That was dirty, um, so I decided to take a shower. Um, when I took a shower, I used the soap or something that was inside the shower that they provide, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, I felt like a crackhead driving home. I was like itchy everywhere, just, I don't know, felt like a little crackhead, um, to go along with Project Crack Pipe, I guess, but yeah, I don't know, I uh, stopped in a hotel in Mesquite, stayed the night, because I got there at about, I want to say I got there about 9, 9.30 or something like that, um, and, uh, slept there, woke up, took a shower, left at like 3.30 in the morning. From there, from there it's four hours to my house. Um, I got home at like 7.30 and uh, I was still all itchy and I don't know if it was something I drank, something I eat, ate. I don't know what it was. Um, but yeah, I took some allergy medicine, some Benadryl or something and was basically out all day, not yesterday, but the day before. So, uh, and then yesterday I was kind of out of it, but whatever, just sleeping here and there. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I haven't really done anything, just been doing laundry. I tried doing laundry the day I got home, but uh, the wife gave me those pills and, uh, yeah, I was out all day, and, anyway, so, um, so when I'm, while I'm home, this half, I guess you can call it, till the 31st, or the 30th, so, yeah, the, basically the fourth, or four, four or five more days, and then I get to head back out of here, so next Wednesday, I'll be leaving. Um, what I got planned, I got to change the oil again already. I'm at like 5,000, maybe close to 6,000 miles on this. And I got to do the front brakes again because the front brakes are squealing like crazy. I did the rear brakes, took them all apart. Everything was fine with those. They were brand new Honda uh, factory pads. Um, and the noise is coming from the front. It has to be. And then uh, ordered some seat covers for the wife's car. Fit pretty, pretty nice. Don't mind her, her carpet, her floor mats. Those have been stained since we got the car. So anyway, they're a, they're a pleather. They fit pretty good, I would say. Um, some creases. That need to be that need to come out um but when it gets hot supposedly we can play with it and flex and pull it the bottom was kind of a pain in the butt because you got to put the straps underneath so you have to take this cover off and there's two screws under here that you can't get to um i mean you can i got to them but they're kind of a pain but anyway yeah so Oh, look a lot better than what she had. Her uh, her seats were all cracking and getting all jacked up. Um, so anyway, so we did that to her car, and uh, yeah, and then I found out uh, um, anyway. Sorry. 
texting some people because I bid on a job in Green River, Wyoming and uh, called the supervisor this morning. I bid on it. I got it. got awarded. It's a foreman job because um, I'm just an assistant foreman right now. So anyway, so I caught the job. Um, called the supervisor. The supervisor tells me Oh, we're not in Green River, Wyoming, which is, you know, 12 hours away from my house. We're in Columbus, Nebraska, 21 hours away. So, anyway, they posted it wrong. So, anyway, I'm going to try to call our union and try to settle something with that. See if they can't give me that foreman job, the seniority title on it. And, uh, yeah, and uh, they'll just have to abolish my job. If not, if the union says they can't do it and I have to work it, then I guess I'll have to go out there and work it. And uh, it's, it's a real easy gang, real easy job. Um, supposedly it's an undercutter, they call it. It's basically a big saw blade that scoops all the mud and everything out from underneath the tracks, um, underneath the railroad ties. And it puts new rock uh, back in there. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. So, um, yeah, I haven't done nothing to the truck. Today is not too bad, although it's only, well, it's 1030, so I don't think the temperature is going to be too bad. Um, I just need to do an oil change. I got to order the brake pads because. Vato Zone doesn't carry them. They don't keep them in stock because they're the Brembo brakes. So, anyway, got to make some phone calls on that. And I don't know if I have anything planned for Project Crack Pipe. Uh, I don't. I don't really know. I'm kind of at a standstill right now, just because I'm just wore out and it's hot. Um, I was doing the wiring, running the wiring and everything, but I kind of don't want to do the wiring right now because I want to wire brush all this and uh, paint it or do something. I also want to finish the firewall and get some seam sealer, um, finish welding this all up. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just overwhelmed right now. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this here. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Sorry for the lack of content. Um, check out my previous videos. Uh, yeah, so, alright, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe. Comment below. Like, dislike. You can subscribe up here with this link. Um, and then check out my boy, one and Glenn over here. Alright guys, later.